90 Day Fiancé couple Veronica Rodriguez and Jomo Menzies got into a massive argument on single life. Has the quarrel led to a shocking split? 90 Day. The single life couple Veronica Rodriguez and Jomo Menzies are most likely not together after season 4. Veronica became known as Tim Malcolm's ex turned best friend to 90 Day Fiancé. Before the 90 Day's viewers in season 3, Veronica and Tim were an inseparable franchise pair who were not in a relationship but thicker than most other couples from the shows. Fans expected Tim and Veronica to rekindle their decade-long relationship. However, Tim and Veronica showed an interest in dating other people. Veronica got into a long-distance relationship with Kim Menzies' son, Jamal, in single life. Tim debuted in season 4 with a love interest named Louisa. Jamal and Tim showed animosity towards each other from the time Veronica introduced Jamal during the tell-all. Jamal, too, didn't appreciate Tim meddling in his ex-fancy's relationship. Veronica wanted Jamal to move to Charlotte, but it wasn't possible when Jamal was annoyed with Tim. She tried to make them bury the hatchet by going on a double date. Unfortunately, the idea backfired terribly on Veronica herself. Jamal went on a double date with Veronica and Tim and Tim's love interest Louisa. Jomal felt that the situation was weird since Tim was Veronica's ex. Jomal said he was trying to accept Tim and Veronica's friendship, but he also felt that they should set boundaries with each other. Because if things don't change, then there probably won't be a relationship, Jomal told the cameras. Jomal told Veronica that he and Luisa both felt uncomfortable around her and Tim, especially with Veronica talking about how Tim liked his steak cooked. He believed Tim would always depend on Veronica for things. Veronica agreed and said Tim would have to grow up. Do you not realize Tim is 10 plus years older than me? Jamal questioned his girlfriend. Jamal wanted Veronica and Tim to see how their close relationship came across as weird to their respective partners. Veronica didn't care what Jamal or Lisa thought of her friendship because it was not going to change anything. It was Jamal's last night in Charlotte, and she wanted to have a good night with him. Jamal was also bothered by Veronica and Luisa talking in Spanish. Jamal asked whether it was Veronica's job to make Tim's girlfriend feel comfortable. Veronica looked at it like Jamal was having an issue with her as a person who liked making people around her comfortable. When Veronica and Jamal reached her house, she expressed how Jamal made their whole trip about Tim. Veronica was mad at Jamal for making her talking to Luisa in Spanish look like a bad thing when all she wanted was to make Luisa comfortable. Jamal asked Veronica to move past the argument. He realized that Veronica was not addressing the problem, which is Tim. He knew he wasn't the first person who got an uncomfortable feeling about Veronica and Tim's relationship. Jamal wanted to be the closest man to Veronica. Veronica accused Jamal of starting what was their biggest argument yet. Jamal kept telling Veronica to not raise her voice at him. Jamal said he wasn't a child to be yelled at and Veronica let him know he was not going to tell her what to do. Veronica couldn't believe that Jamal told her not to treat him like a child. She took her mic off and told Jamal she didn't care about where he was going to spend the night. During her confessional, Veronica said all she was trying to do was desperately, passionately trying to communicate with Jamal. It appears Jamal and Veronica haven't been able to get past their argument even after the show ended. Jamal and Veronica didn't celebrate Valentine's Day together as a couple. Instead, Jamal shared a cryptic post caption, Happy Valentine's Day. Tell your bros you love them even if you don't kiss them with photos of him with his male friends. A fan asked Jamal, where is your beautiful lady V in the comments? The 90 day. The single life star replied to them with who? Before he edited the comment and wrote with Tim. Ruben asked Debbie to consider moving to Miami in case they continued building their relationship. Debbie, meanwhile, told Ruben that they needed to take time to build a strong foundation. Debbie wanted to connect her brain and her heart both this time. We'll just see how it goes, Debbie told her 90 day, the single life partner. Moving to Miami gave Debbie a lot to think about. She knew Julian would turn ugly if she told him about moving. Debbie now looked forward to the next day when Ruben was going to meet Julian for the first time and hoped everything went smoothly.